Hello everyone and welcome back to Acting One. What we are going to cover this week is we are going to continue our use of imagination. So what I want you to do in this first activity is we are going to play a game called Statues. Now what you're going to do is you're going to walk around your room. Wherever you are, you're going to walk around. So make sure no one's around because you're about to get, things are about to get a little weird. So I want you to walk around your room and then I'm going to yell out a person, a, a an object, a noun, essentially, and what I want you to do is freeze in a, as a statue of whatever that thing is. So if you're walking around and I say cowboy, well, turn into a statue of a cowboy. Now part of the assignment that I want you to do, because part of this is about you pushing through all of your inhibitions. So if you're playing it safe, if I say cowboy and you go, are you really trying? Are you really going all out? Are you going to push yourself to be big? I want you to be like Jim Carrey. I want you to go so over the top that we have to pull you back a little bit. And most of the time, we're not gonna have to pull you back because you're so busy trying to look cool that nothing looks more uncool than trying to be cool. So what I need you to do is be silly. I need you to be bold. I need you to be fearless and daring. That's where you need to be. So begin by walking around the room. Good. The first thing that I want you to do is freeze as a T-Rex. All right, keep going. Now I want you to ask yourself, did you freeze as a T-Rex and really give your all or could you go a little bit bigger? Or could you go a lot bigger? Keep moving. Opera singer. Okay, keep moving. Cowboy. Now see if you can go bigger. Keep going. Magician. Keep going. Doctor. Keep going. Supervillain. Keep going. WWE wrestler. Keep going. Rockstar, keep going. Ice cream cone. All right, so shake it off. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna take that same principle, but now we're gonna use our active imagination and we're gonna move throughout the space. So the first thing that I want you to do is imagine that you are, you have bare feet and you are standing on freshly cut grass. Now kind of wiggle your toes and feel the grass underneath your feet. Now begin walking throughout the space and walk as though you are walking in grass. Use your imagination to really feel it. Good. Now as you walk, the grass turns into dirt. How does that change the way you walk? Feel the dirt underneath your feet. Keep going. And now the dirt becomes rocks. Some of them are smooth, some of them poke into your feet. But walk around. Again, you have bare feet, so you have to feel each rock. Now keep walking. And now, what I want you to do is that those rocks have now become water. So walk through the water. The water is about at your ankle height. So keep walking, splash. All right, now the water dries up and becomes mud. So it's thick, gooey mud. Walk through it. Okay, good. Now the floor has become broken glass. Now walk through the space as though you're stepping on broken glass. But you have to get across the space. You don't get to just stand there. How do you walk across the space? Now the glass becomes hot coals. Now what makes hot coals different than glass when you're walking on them? So go, walk. How do you cross the room? Okay, good. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to imagine that the, all of the floor is covered in slime and move throughout the space. Now I want you to imagine that the floor has become bugs walk throughout the space. Feel them squish and 
crunch underneath your feet. All right. Now, shake it off. You're now done. In the discussion board, I want to talk about what you felt, which things were really effective and which things were you not able to connect to? And I want you to talk about why. Why do you think you were not able to connect to those things? All right, I'll see you then and then come right back and we'll continue our lesson.